Okay, I'm going to show you how to install Chroma Hills and also an extra little bonus to make it look even better. But right now, you want to go to the Chroma Hills down, uh, website, which I'll have in the, uh, the link in the description below. Um, you go to the website and then you click on the download zip file. When you see all these pop-ups, ignore it. Just go to where it says, please wait two seconds, one second. Wait for it to pop up, skip add. Click skip add and then you should be downloading the Chroma Hills you need. Once you get your Chroma Hills, go to your uh, Minecraft folder and where you got resource packs. In my case, it's under users. It's under the C users. Shane, that's my name. App data, roaming, Minecraft, resource packs. Then put your Chroma Hills into your resource packs. Once you got your Chroma Hills in the resource packs there, then you go into the game. Okay, this is Minecraft with it originally without any resource packs. <laughs> the wool carpet looks lucky. Anyways, here's what it looks like now. If you want to switch it to resource pack, you just hit escape. Then you click options, the resource packs. And then you'll see the Chroma Hills. Click on that, the little arrow. And when you set the top, make sure it's at the top of the list. You can have more than one pack, like different sounds, different graphics, stuff like that. What's ever at top will be played first. Files that don't cover will be played in the second and so on. So anyways, make sure your Chroma Hills is at the top and then click done. It might take a few seconds. Now just click done and back to game. And now you'll see the stained glass. Now it looks different. The graphics look a little bit better. Well, a lot better, I think. Go back outside here. Now you see the wool carpeting looks a lot better. Good. And okay, now I'm going to show you one other thing that uh, if you want to enhance it even more, I'm going to come down here where the stained glass is. You'll notice that the stained glass. It's just two squares on top of each other. Now I'm going to show you how to enhance even that and other things. And look at the stone, how the stone is exactly the same all the way through. Nothing different about it. Okay, and even the steps, how the steps are exactly the same. Okay, now I'll show you how to enhance all that even, little details. Okay, once again, the link will be in the description below for the MC patcher. You'll want to go to the link in, that I provide and uh, I usually just kick, click the alternate download. If you click download it'll go to the actual website. You can see the MC patcher with all the other stuff. But anyways, like I said, just click on the alternate download and it should start downloading right off the bat. See how it just downloads. Now, I usually stick in my Minecraft folder so I know where it's at. Okay, you'll want to run it, and then after it all loads up and everything, all you need to do, make sure it's got your game version, which mine is 1.7.2, and then just click Patch. When it's done patching, all you need to do is just close it out. Now, where it says profile, on, when you after you start up Minecraft, you want it to say MC Patcher instead of your name, what you usually log in with. It will still log you in with your normal name and everything, but just make sure profile says MC Patcher. When you got that selected, see it still says Welcome Zorbius, which is my Minecraft name. But click play. We'll join the game and you'll notice now that the stone looks different sometimes. You got your normal blocks, but you notice there's like little rocks in them and there's grass. There's a chip with like some stained grass. Another chip. And if you notice the bricks are even the stones. See there's a little broken uh, step that's got grass coming through. Some of the steps are cracked now. 
so it don't look all the same. We'll come back over to the stained glass. Remember two squares? Now the very top one is curved. So if you still put, like if I took out a spot here and put a stained glass there, it would be square. But then if you put another one on top, it will curve. If you do three of them, then the two here will be square. And then the top third one would be curved. So, and then it adds other things like uh, you'll see uh, um, creepers, different color creepers and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. So, I recommend the MC Patcher for right now. Optifine's not uh, updated for 1.7.2. That's the one I prefer. So, I'm using MC Patcher until Optifine comes out. Once I get Optifine and it's out, I'll, up, I'll make another how-to using Optifine. Thank you for watching.